This video was sponsored by One Nest Studios. Elevate your sound. If you're looking for a studio that is reasonably priced to record your music, podcasts, etc., then you cannot go wrong with One Nest Studios. Contact the number down below or the email address or visit their website for more details. Thank you. Hi, this is my review of the Maestri Go Easy Plus Action Pole. Now this is a compact pole for your GoPro, SJ Cam and Yi cameras. Now it is suitable for 360 cameras but I'll come on to that later on. Um, I bought this from Amazon UK and the price is $18.99 and there was no deals. Now we take a quick look around the box. We have the picture of the pole with an action camera. Go Easy Plus. At the bottom it states sports gear and the actual model number is the LDX-808. On the side here just tells you about that you've got a comfortable rubber grip. You get a lanyard, or which they call a rope, a grip rope with two eyes for grip. Uh, we have a removable um, lanyard loop, so you can put the tripod legs which you get with it on there. And this is what you get in the bag. I'll start from the bottom and work to the top. We get a GoPro style thumb screw here, which is made out of plastic. We get a thick lanyard with wrist lanyard with an adjustment on there and also this metal um, base or loop to connect to the actual pole at the bottom which has a quarter inch thread the same with this. We get tripod legs now they're not the widest tripod legs it actually it's one of the smallest this is like a mini tripod legs and they're not very wide there is a bit of weight coming from the top but they're just not very wide and as a quarter inch thread but the whole entire legs are made out of metal with rubber ends on the bottom we have a little bag for the tripod legs to go in so we get that little nylon bag drawstring bag and last of all we have the pole here now it's quite compact it has a GoPro style end to it at the top and this is made out of plastic the actual stem is made out of aluminium and we have a thick rubber handle at the bottom and as I stated before we have the quarter inch thread there so you can put the lanyard on or the legs. Now this is how the Go Easy Plus uh, looks like when it's fully extended. Now from the very bottom of the pole to the top of the mount it states that it is 43.3 inches long and falls down to 14.2 but I don't go by the actual length what the manufacturers state because they can't or the overall length I go by what it actually extends out to so I tend to miss the bottom of I tend to miss the handle and the top of the mount because to me this is the true actual extension length between these two points and it measures at 35.6 now for sturdiness I normally give it this little shake and it's quite sturdy uh, when it's fully extended out so it there's not much of a wobble with this and it doesn't feel like it's going to snap at these sections at all um, but in saying that I would not use this for um, real action purposes like mountain biking um, stuff like that and skiing I wouldn't use this pole for that this is strictly for like if you're doing running, outdoor type stuff, which are not included with those things. Um, it's what this pole is really suited for. 
Now it has, as I stated before, has this nice thick rubber handle here, which has this kind of diamond pattern on the handle. And also the, the stem is made of aluminium and we have a double seam. We have a seam at the front and a seam at the back running all the way through to give it adi more adequate, adequate strength. <laughs> Sorry about that, more adequate strength. Now it opens out into one, two, three, four sections and you can see that each section has these collars. Now, this would have been brilliant if they would have had the, these plastic collars in black. It would have gave it a more stealth looking uh, feel to it and a more stealth look and a more premium look to it. But they put it in white and it, to me, it cheapens the look of it. Also, this uses a twist lock motion so there's no actual dedicated locking, either turns or presses or levers to actually lock each section. It requires um, anti-lock to release it and um, clockwise, sorry, clockwise to release it and um, anti-clockwise, believe it or not, to close it up. So to lock it in place, which is a bit of a reverse. It should have been clockwise to lock it up and anti-clockwise to release it, but it's in reverse. As I stated before, the top mount here cannot come off. It's fixed uh, and it's made out of plastic, which is a shame that should have been made out of metal in my books than rather than plastic. Because if you drop that and once this is broken, that is it. Now, as you can see, the mount on here has my GoPro Hero 8 on the top. So if you've got a GoPro uh, of any number it will fit on here as long as it's got the GoPro attachment. Now any other action camera that you've got will fit on there as long as you've got the GoPro attachment on there. So your Yi cams, SJ cams, um, Yi camera sorry, SJ cams and all any other action camera will fit on there. Now as for your 360 cameras you can get away with the Insta 360 uh, 1R and with the GoPro Max, you can get away with them. Now, if you're gonna use other cameras, 360 cameras, such as the Yi ones and the, the Insta360 One and the Insta360 One X, <laughs> you're gonna to have to use a different mount. Now, for 360 cameras, you're gonna to have to use these mounts to go on your 360 cameras, which, generally are these type of mounts. I'll try and get them in focus. These type of mounts, which is basically um, GoPro to a quarter inch thread mounts. Now you can pick these up. This is a Joby one, uh, which is a bit harder to find. This Joby one but, and more expensive. And this is the standard ones that you can get as low as a dollar or even a pound on eBay. So just need these requirements um, if you want to fit those type of 360 cameras on there. Now, this is how it looks when it's fully extended with these legs on there. And these legs, I have to say, have a very small footprint. So to me, if you're gonna use this outside, I'd keep it no more than about two sections um, on a slight breezy day, no more than two sections on there. Lower it down to that. If it's, not, if it's not a breezy day at all and there's no breeze whatsoever, then I'd probably go no more than higher than three because the, as I said, the legs are very narrow. They have a very narrow footprint. They, they, there is some weight to the legs, but they're on a very, very narrow footprint. But if for indoor use, no problem. Uh, for indoor use, you can use it on worktops, um, tables, etc. Now. This is what you get, which I showed you before, the lanyard with its metal loop and quarter inch thread on the bottom. And that simply fits at the bottom of the selfie stick here or part. Simply turn and you got it attached on there, which is quite good. And I, and I like how they made this loop actually out of metal. That is really, really good. I like that because most manufacturers, this particular part here is made out of plastic. So it's very good that they have that as metal. 
Now, this is my two pence worth on the Mystery Go Easy poll. And I hope I got that one right. Now, to me, this is slightly overpriced at, I think I stated at 18 99 To me, it's slightly overpriced. This, to me, uh, should be worth no more than about £12. I'm not saying that this is a rubbish poll. I'm just saying that it sits between a rubbish poll and a good poll. This sits in the middle. It is ideal if you're looking for something compact uh, for traveling and you are not in action sports such as mountain biking or cross country running or anything like that, where if you take a tumble, I guarantee this, this will break. But if it's for your just daily um, normal holidays and you're gonna use a GoPro, it's brilliant. It does state in the write-up, and I haven't mentioned, but I'm gonna mention it now, that it is waterproof. Trust me, it, it is kind of water, it's water resistant, not waterproof. And believe me, if you drop this in the sea or a large body of water, you will lose it. Now for the negatives about this pole. The negatives, and I'll start from the top. The negative is, has to be the GoPro mount at the top. It is made out of plastic. It's a small mount, um, but it's made out of plastic. That should have been made out of metal, at least. Um, the next thing would be these collars between each of the sections, and they've left them white. That would have been great if they were in black, give it a more stealth look, premium look. And the last negative I have to say would be the price. The price is has to be one of the negatives. I think this is overpriced for what it is. Now I've missed off one negative, but I'm gonna catch up with it now. The other negative is these legs. Don't get me wrong, they got some weight, and this is quite weighty at the top here where the, where the quarter inch thread is, it is quite weighty. But the actual legs, when they spread out, sits on a very small footprint. It may look big on, the, on your video, uh, on the video here, but trust me, there are, it's a very small footprint, which to me means that you couldn't have this fully extended outside if there's a bit of a wind blowing, even a slight breeze, and you happen to have your uh, camera up on there, um, you couldn't have it fully extended. Even though they aren't made us out of metal, it still has this kind of very cheap feeling to these legs. So them are the negatives on the actual tripod legs on there. Now, if you happen to have the mystery Go Easy Plus, poll please leave your comments down in the comment section what you think about it because your opinions may be different to my opinions so i'll leave them down in the comment section if you like this video um, please give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down i totally understand my videos can be long but i'd rather go through what i think about the poll to save, if you get the poll, to save you the time and say to yourself, oh yeah, that guy on YouTube was right. This, that, and that, and the other didn't like. So it saves you the time in that respect. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And oh yes, thanks for watching.